I shared to you. How are you today? So I have here the witch's chest and it has been sitting here and I completely forgot about it because I have just had an operation. I had eye surgery this month and I have been a bit disconnected from my work. So I do apologize for how late I am for unboxing this one, but I was just tidying up my office, my little sacred space, and I found it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this one. Oh no. So I'm doing an overhead unboxing because my eye is very sore and I've got a few other things going on. So I just thought this is the best way to go. This is how I'm more comfortable doing it. So here we are. We have the Earthly Alchemy's Witch's Chest and check it out. Oh my God, I just knocked my favorite crystal over. The Dance of Spring. Okay, so what do we have here for the Dance of Spring? I would love to be able to read this to you, but I can't. Because I have just, like I said, had eye surgery and my eyes are very, very blurry. I don't have my glasses yet. I need to be fitted for new glasses. So I know that whatever is here is talking about the Dance of Spring and it's many blessings from Crow and Lotus Moon. I'll just go over what is in the box at the moment because that's a little bit clearer for me to see. It's still a bit blurry, but let's go with it. Witch's Garden Bath Tea with Spoon and Muslin Bag. That sounds lovely. Ostara Goddess Altar Plaque. Yay! God of the Forest Body and Ritual Oil. That sounds amazing. Uh, Fuchsite Crystal. Mm, that sounds yummy. On the back side here we have Ostara Mini Beeswax Spell Candle, Rose Quartz Crystal Chips and Pan God Altar Card. Blue Cornflower Petals and Blue Cornflower Book of Shadows page. So there we have it. I'm going to tuck this off to the side and dig right in. As per usual, you're seeing it as I'm seeing it, which is exciting. Yay! So... I almost opened this, as you can see. This is what made me realize that I hadn't, because it was just sitting on the ground there and it didn't have everything around it that I usually put around a box that needs to be open. And I started to, to like tear this up and I'm like, oh no! So I haven't actually looked at it, but oh my gosh, this is so awesome! Look at that! Oh, wow! <gasps> Oh my goodness. Look at, look, just look, look, just, oh, it's so good. Oh, this is a really, really big, it's a bath tea. If only I had a bath. I so look forward to throwing this on my altar. <laughs> for those who don't have baths, there's another use for your witch's garden bath tea. Yes, it would be lovely to steep in this, to be sure. But let's face it, not going to happen. For those who don't have baths, at least. But look at how beautifully packaged it is. And this glass bottle is everything. Oh, I want to have a look underneath it. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's so lovely. Let's tuck that off to the side. That's gorgeous. What do we have here? It's weighty. Oh, it's very weighty. Oh, this must be the plug. Look at how beautiful that is. I bet it smells. But I'm sure you could add some drops of something delicious to make it smell. Oh, that is so pretty. That would be, if there was a little owl there, imagine if there was an owl there, that would be a, a great one for um, Blue Duet. <laughs> Alrighty, next one. Oh, this is Rose Quartz, and I believe the Rose Quartz chips. Oh no, this is Fuchsite. <gasps> oh, shut your face. Look at it. Oh my God. Oh my. Ah, dying. Oh, 
look at you, look at how shaly and like beautiful it is. And then I'll just tuck this off to the side because it is gorge. And then we have the little polished rose quartz chips. Whoa. Very nice. Gosh, that's lovely. What have we got here? I love that all of the packaging is paper based because I can just chuck it as thinly in my fire. Oh, here we go, blue cornflower. Blue cornflower. Oh, protection, healing, psychic awareness. Oh, look at it. I love blue cornflower. I'm not sure if you can even see it, but here I'll show you. I'll just pick up a handful of the herbs that are there. I throw it all over my altar. That's just there on my altar. I wrote a little Instagram post yesterday about how the way that I adorn, decorate, uh, you know, cover my altar has changed significantly over time. And now I just adorn it in herbs and let the wood speak for itself. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, it smells divine. I love blue cornflower. All righty, we've got, aha, God of the Forest. Oh my gosh, look at the sigil on that. Like, can you see it? Oh my God, amazing, amazing. Can I get it to focus? Oh, don't want to really challenge my camera at the moment. It's a green bottle. I'm going to sniff it. Amazing. <gasps> Sniffing it again. Amazing. Oh my God, I love it so much. You are going to be everything to me. Good Lord. Good Lord. I'm just going <gasps> to. Look at how beautiful it is. <gasps> Look. Yes. Yes. Just yes, Elder. This is so much yes. Just yes. Oh, you got a little scroll here. I'm going to pop this off to the side. Oh, so appreciative of that. And let's have a look at what's in this tiny little screw. Oh, it's nothing. You can write your own petition on there. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's really sweet. I must put that with my petition papers. Oh, beautiful. Have I missed anything else? No, no, no. I believe that that is all of it. So let's have a little look at all of the items together, shall we? the candle, the oil, the cornflower, the fucite, and the rose quartz chip with what appears to be carnelian and perhaps blue lace agate mixed in there just for good measure. All beautifully packaged in recyclable materials, just lovely and a perfect array of ingredients and tools for the spring, which we are currently in right now. I've just got to fix up my tangerine selenite there. And I'm just so excited. This oil sounds, smells, looks, feels heavenly, just heavenly. So let's get very excited about that. Now, all of these beautiful items can be used in conjunction or independently to make your own rituals just pop. And so I just would love to know how you guys would use this particular collection. So comment below, like how would you create a nice little simple ritual out of these beautiful items? I know what I would do. My ritual, of course, would have to have a bath. Unfortunately, I don't have a bath. Goals, folks, bathroom goals. The next house that I am in will have a bath. It will. <laughs> 
But I love corn flour and I think that if you were to grab a candle, anoint it with this bad boy, roll it in the corn flour. Oh, you could even like drop some of that oil on top of that candle right there. Write your beautiful spring petition. Surrounded in like beautiful rose quartz chips. Have the plaque there. Paint the plaque. Anoint the plaque. Carve the back of the plaque because it looks like it's soft to do so. And there's a bucite. Oh my gosh, so much awesomeness. <gasps> Thank you, Earthly Alchemy. Thank you, Elder Crow, for yet another incredible witch's chest. They really are stepping up their game over at the witch's chest company, i.e. Earthly Alchemy. And it never surprised me. It surprises. I can't speak. Surprises me. I'm always so impressed that they use glass to provide their herbs so you get a decent uh, array or a decent selection or weight of herb. You get these beautiful glass bottles that you can then repurpose in your apothecary and you get some great items that you can use over and over again. So I'm just super interested in watching this company very closely and seeing how they thrive. They just they need to thrive. So, my beautiful souls, am I missing an object? Altar plaque. I oh, know that's the altar plaque. That's great. No, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I'm just used to seeing artwork. Oh gosh. Did I miss the artwork? Oh gosh. Is there a blue cornflower one in here? Oh, I already, I must have, I thought there was something in there. Pan and the blue, blue cornflower. And this is in their beautiful binder that they made. Oh, this is because I went through some of it. Oh, I'm so bummed. But here is the blue cornflower. Yes. And personal notes, which fits beautifully in their little binder. And pan. And pan. And was there... Oh no, Jasmine was la it was last week. Oh, oh my gosh. This could not have been a more disorganized unboxing, I've got to tell you. Just, gosh, I'm so discombobulated right now. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing nonetheless, as topsy-turvy as it was, because the items in the box are so beautiful. They speak for themselves. You don't even have to go too deep into it. I just like to tell you what it looks like, feels like, smells like, because that's my way. So, there you have it, beautiful souls. I am wishing you guys so much love, like peace and joy. I will be back front-facing camera as soon as I'm feeling well enough to do so. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Sending you so many yummy spring blessings, especially for those who are just entering the winter or the autumn season and might be slightly resistant to that. Uh, <laughs> and for all of us here in the Southern Hemisphere, all those beautiful spring blessings to you as well. Much love, many blessings, bye.